Okay. Well, it's cool. I mean, it looks great from there and there, but if you're looking at that camera there, we've, we can see it. It's going to yeah. show from there. Mm. So. And again, every time I press the card in the middle of the card, we'll obviously race on top. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> What are you doing tonight? <laughs> I was a little bit worried and concerned uh, um, getting someone like an old magician who would pull a rabbit out of his hat or something like that, you know. And that would have been my um, cups of tea, you know. Uh, but um, I'm really happy to work with Paul. Are you married together? It's day two, and Paul's decided the best way to assess Etienne's act is to watch him perform for some members of the public. We'll change places with a hate, yeah? This one will vanish before your very eyes. Oh, okay. I'll take it back from here. It's a spade, a heart, or here. It would be a real miracle, I would think, see here, yeah? Oh, wait, I think we lose the cards. Keep the other stuff, yeah? So, yeah, I mean, it's a big old set. The following day, Paul and Etienne had to solve the difficulties of doing close up magic in a large studio. With people behind you, but if we could do it so you're actually surrounded, so the cameras can get 360 degrees round you, that'd be really different. That's a little bit too short. Etienne's finding out that it's not just his tricks that are getting a makeover. There's not a lot really to alter because you've got a lovely, trendy hairstyle. It's a bit short. It's a bit short? Well, I can't grow it in a week for you. I quite like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? That's a nice, yes, uh, yeah. that's a nice Cufflinks feature. have come a long way, yeah, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Paul and Etienne continue working on the act, but some of the changes are proving a bit nice, difficult nice for Etienne. There, you see? So your hands fill the screen. Mm -hmm. As it's not really the way I do the close-up, so it's really tiring. You have to go over and over and over. But it's a challenge there, so I accept the challenge, but it's a bit tough. I'm not really worried to do the show, it's to, uh, because it's, you're so limited with time, it's only three minutes yeah, to do, so you have to rush. It's nice to get this kind of feeling of movement, rather than just stay in one place, we'll do a trick over here, trick for those people, tricks that now. It's yeah. not my personality to rush, I will normally go and take my time, introduce myself slowly, but on TV, since you've got three minutes to do that, it's where the problem is, I think. Etienne, you've been really calm all week. I mean, even the gig didn't phase you. What's been the most difficult thing for you? I, I think it's to work with a, a camera. You know, it's a completely different way to work because you've got a camera everywhere and you have right. to do this, the, everything. You have to do it really slowly, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and ad-libbing, you've found that difficult. You would rather you want to ad-lib rather than stick to a script. Yeah, you, you can't do this sort of improvisation on TV. That's what I found, you know, so it's a bit difficult for that because I like to to improvise all the time, but on TV you can do it because yeah. you're limited of time, so it's completely different. Okay, well, you've impressed the women on our team. Does that, is that because you're French? Is that no. the French charm? No, I just like, uh, eat a lot of garlic in the morning. That's yeah. all. <laughs> <laughs> and it works. So if I change my name to Les Denis, do you think it would work for me? Mmm, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Etienne, the moment is here, so I've got to ask you, are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As a famous French poet say once, the seagull fall of the troller is because they think sardine be fro in top of the sea. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> Myself, I much prefer follow beautiful ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Madame, what's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca, oh, lovely. Where are you from? Wigan. Wigan. Ooh, I normally make a bottle of champagne a pair for the lady, but I think for you, my love, will be a nice... Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, so you look like you got a sense of humor. Have you got a £10 note I could borrow? Mm -hmm. Hey, I'll tell you a funny French joke, actually. I know it's a this mec, he va voir le docteur, he lui dit, uh, docteur, je perds la mémoire. La mémoire depuis quand quoi? C'est trop marrant, c'est... <laughs> hey, it's really funny. Uh, <clears throat> Ten pound out. You're going to actually see the ten pound out vanishing before your very eyes. So watch really close. The ten pound out be falling once, twice, three times, four times, and <laughs> and four times, fifth time. It will completely dis. Oh no, disappear. Really, it's actually a uh, fifty francs. <clears throat> anyway, I think. Um, 
150 francs is worth about 300 pounds in this country, isn't it? Uh, well, next time you go to Paris, mate, uh, get yourself uh, a coffee or something like that. <laughs> hey, sir, how are you? I'm going to show you a coin trick. So, there is magic here, no laughing anymore. Um, four coins, one, two, three, four. They're all going to vanish from one hand to another. So watch really close. The first one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yo, yo, yo. Mm-hmm. Huh? Now the first one, if you miss this one, watch the second one. Mm-hmm. Oh, ho, ho, huh? Now watch really close. Now this one, but this one will go from the left to the right. Could you give me your left, uh, sorry, your right hand? Open your hand like so. Squeeze these two hands, these two coins really tight, as tight as you can. I'm not going to make this one vanish. It's this one I will make vanish. This one I keep it in this hand. Watch this one. Mm. Did you feel this one go in your hand? Open your hand slowly, sir. Oh, only two. Do you wear a watch, sir? I didn't. Turn your hand over. Underneath the watch. Uh, ah, yes, come on, I don't it. Yep. Mm. Madam, you look absolutely gorgeous. Do you mind if I borrow that from you for a minute? Ha ha ha, pure magic here. <laughs> Can I have a ring? Can I borrow a ring for you for one minute? Thank you. Now you're going to watch some pure magic. The rings go inside the rope. The ring go right in the middle of the rope. Yeah? Yeah? Can you give me your hand like so? Yeah, like so. It's a lovely hand. Oh, nicely affirmed. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yes, the rings will penetrate through the ropes. Mm -hmm. And press. Oh, well, I explained to you how to do it. There's actually two ways to do it. The first way is to take the ring for one hand or take the ring for the other hand when nobody sees you. Mm -hmm. When nobody sees you, you could hook the rings back in the middle of the rope. <laughs> <laughs> if I place me, okay? If I place my hand around the rings like so, and I'm going to ask you to tie the knot. Would you mind to tie the knot for me? Yeah, tie a good knot like so. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And now, watch, I'm going to say the magic word. Abra, a, a. Ah, give it made to break and actually the ring is actually completely vanished, disparu, Monsieur Dame, thank you. Mm -hmm. Where's the ring? Ah, could you stand up for a minute? Actually, it's in my pocket. Madam, could you place your hand in my pocket? Hey, Madam, in English TV here. <laughs> Behave yourself. Right there. Could you put your hand inside? Can you feel a little bag? Yeah? yeah. Hey, can you feel the ring inside? Are you impressed with that? Yeah. Oh, if you're impressed with that, watch from here to here. Now, watch my hand. Go over there. Surprise, surprise. Go over there, Debbie Maggie. <laughs> Go over there. Take the bag. I don't want to touch it. Take the bag. Can you feel the ring inside? Show the bag to the camera. Open the bag yourself. I don't want to touch it. Yeah? And is that a ring? Is that your ring? Yeah. You sure? Definitely. Give up your clap. She's been great. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Never mind the ladies, I think you've charmed everyone tonight. Thank Etienne you. Pradier. Thank you. Well, folks, I think we've seen four fantastic acts this evening, but Give You Mate a Break is not about being a star, it's about the hard work it takes to become a star. And that's why I'm now going to be asking our studio audience to vote for who they think has made the most of their break this week. It's a tough call, but audience, you have your buttons in front of you. You know what you have to do. Please do it now. Is it going to be Michel Marsden? Could it be Etienne Pradier? Will it be Mark Small? Or maybe it's Charlie Hadda. OK, folks, I think you've all been absolutely brilliant, but our audience has made their decision. And the performer who they think has made the most of their break this week is... Mark Small! <laughs> Thank you for watching Give You Mate a Break. And the best of luck to Michelle, Etienne, Mark and Charlie, whatever they choose to do in the future. And remember, maybe your great aunt has great card tricks. But your paper boy belongs in a boy band. And all they need, like Mark here, is a mate to give them a break. We'll see you soon. Good night. <laughs>